Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I really couldn't wait any longer to start working on some fall pieces so I made this crochet sweater scarf. It's really easy to make and it's only a one row repeat. In this tutorial I make a size small to medium. For all other sizes check out my blog crochetwithcarry.com. The yarn I used was Heartland from Line Brand. It's a weight 4 yarn and I used about 3 balls for a size small to medium. So we're going to start off with our 5.5mm hook and we're going to chain 51. Then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into every chain to the end. At the end of the row, chain one and then turn your work. And now we're going to work into the back loop of every stitch. So working into the back loop of every stitch, place one single crochet. Then you're going to repeat this row over and over again until you have a total of 45 rows completed. So once you have your 45 rows completed your work should look like this. This is going to be the sleeve section of our sweater scarf. So we're going to change our hook, we're going to use a 6.5 millimeter hook. And now we're going to work single crochet along this short edge. So we're going to begin by chaining one and then we're going to make 45 single crochet all the way across. At the end of the row, chain one and then turn your work. Into this very first stitch, place one single crochet. Then skip the next stitch and then single crochet into the next. Then we're going to work in front of the single crochet just made and we're going to single crochet into that skipped stitch. And we're going to repeat that. We're going to skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next. Then working in front of that single crochet just made single crochet into that skipped stitch. So you're going to repeat that all the way across, skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next, then working in front of the single crochet just made, single crochet into that skipped stitch. So repeat that all the way across.
Here I am at the end of the row, you should have two stitches left. So skip the next stitch, single crochet into that last stitch and then single crochet into that skipped stitch. For the next row, chain one and then turn your work into that very first stitch place one single crochet then we're going to skip the next stitch single crochet into the next then working in front of that single crochet just made single crochet into that skipped stitch so you're going to repeat that all the way across until the end of the row and you're going to repeat this row until your entire piece measures 72 inches. So now you should have 72 inches. So now we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet into every stitch all the way across. At the end of the row, we're going to change back to our 5.5 millimeter hook. And now we're going to chain 51. So once you've made your 51 chains, we're going to now single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then we're going to single crochet into each of the next 49 chains. So now I have 50 single crochet. So next we're going to slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet. But we're going to skip that first single crochet and then slip stitch into each of the next two single crochets. Then we're going to turn our work and we're going to skip over those two slip stitches and then working into the back loop of every stitch place one single crochet.
at the end of the row chain one and then turn your work then working into the back loop of every stitch place one single crochet Once you reach the end, slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet. Then turn your work. And we're going to skip over those two slip stitches. And working into the back loop of every stitch, we're going to place one single crochet. And then at the end of this row, we're going to chain one, turn our work, then single crochet working into the back loop of every stitch all the way across. And then we're going to slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way across this short edge. And then once you've done that, we're going to fasten off. So now your sweater scarf should look like this. So next we're just going to fold over this ribbed section here. This is going to be our sleeve and with some yarn and a yarn needle we're just going to sew from here to there and we're going to do the same on the other side. That's your sweater scarf completed. Don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. So are you excited about fall? Have you any recommendations for me? Just leave them in the comments down below. Until next time, take care.